In this video, we'll take a look at what the best way to play Counter-Strike 2 on Mac is. I'm still hopeful that CS2 will one day be released for Mac, but until then, I'll show you how to get it running stably on your system. Shout out to Jay Fishin for helping produce this video. For those that don't know, Jay Fishin is consistently getting new games running on Mac, and provides a significant amount of Mac gaming footage for this channel. The first thing we should be aware of is that some methods result in frequent crashing. We found that Crossover 23 using the Apple Game Porting Toolkit nearly always resulted in the game crashing, even when patched with CX Patcher. So definitely steer clear of that. Patched Crossover 23 using DXVK, however, works very well. The only issue we found with DXVK is that sometimes foliage will appear with black flickery textures. I personally recommend using CX Patched Crossover 23 with DXVK, but other methods that should work as well are CX Patched Crossover 22 using D3D Metal, Wineskin using D3D Metal, and Plain Vanilla Game Porting Toolkit. If you don't know what any of that is, I recommend sticking with Crossover 23 with DXVK. So the first thing we'll need to do is to download Crossover 23 from the Code Weavers website. There's a free 14-day trial, but if you decide to buy it, make sure to use a promo code, like GameMode23 or Apple Gaming Wiki New. There's a link to the Code Weaver store in the description of this video. I'm not going to show you how to install Crossover in Steam in this video, but if you need help setting up Crossover, check out my Crossover 23.5 setup video. Once you have Crossover, Steam, and Counter-Strike 2 installed on your Mac, we're going to go into our dock and click Crossover to choose our advanced settings. I have DXVK and eSync toggled on. Now we're ready to run the game. We're going to go to our Steam library and right-click Counter-Strike. Next, click Properties. In the Launch Options, type dash no joy space dash console. Lastly, there have been reports of Counter-Strike having audio popping problems. There's no real fix for this yet, but if you open the Audio MIDI Setup app, Select your Mac speakers and change the format to anything 4800 Hz and above. Now we're ready to launch the game. If you're using the Apple Game Porting Toolkit to run the game, when you get to the main menu, press the tilde key. And we're going to cap the FPS, so we're going to type in FPS, and then we want FPS Max 140. Select it, and then hit Enter. Then hit Escape. Next, let's go to Settings. We found that full screen windowed is the most likely to crash, so stick with windowed or full screen if you can. I like playing with everything on low, but experiment with the different settings to find a mix of graphics and performance that you like. Let's watch some game footage of Counter-Strike 2 running on an M1 Pro and M1 Max computer. Yeah, 